Surviving Spirit with Mike Skinner. Hi, folks. Uh, my name is Mike Skinner, and today I'm going to share a song, and then we're going to have some conversation. My friend Scott's here with me. And I like to think of the quote that Amy Goodman says. It says, go to where the silence is and say something. And I'm going to open up with a song that I wrote. It's called Brush Away Your Tears. And a couple things on Brush Away Your Tears. It's on my last uh, CD, Waiting for a Train. But it was also used in the documentary, Boys and Men Healing from Childhood Sexual Abuse. So that was quite the honor for me to have that used in the closing credits. And how this song came to be, I was asked to present at a uh, conference on uh, trafficking. And it was being held at Georgetown University in Washington, D.C., and was being sponsored by Georgetown University, as lo along with um, the United Nations and the State Department. And I'm like, wow, that's pretty cool. But so my first question, well, one of my first questions to the uh, person asking me to present is, why are you asking me for trafficking? Um, I had done some things, some events before with this person, this journalist, um, presenting on addressing childhood sexual abuse. But I, I, I couldn't make connect the dots as why she was asking me to be a part of this conference, which I thought was very cool. And she said, Michael, your parents trafficked you. And that was like a, oh, there was an aha moment, but also it was like the sucker punch to the gut because I had never thought of myself as a trafficked um, victim of childhood sexual abuse. But when she started to explain it to me, I heard her, but then I went off into dissociative land because she started talking about they took you to other people's homes, your mother took you to a church to be abused by others. So I got over the shock of that, except because that's one of the things I've learned about trauma because it, it comes in so many forms. And for us as trauma survivors is learning to become aware of it, the acceptance, and then the steps, the action that we're going to take to heal from it. Because at the end of the day, there is healing from this. And uh, so everything I do, it's based upon hope, healing, and help. So I'll share some, you know, tough stuff, but it's also resources and things that we can heal from this. So that's how this song came to be, Brush Away Your Tears. So um, no word of a lie, later that night, um, I'm sitting down with this guitar and I wrote this song because I was hopeful about this event and other events that I've been part of. But I'm also, um, I've learned that uh, what I like to say, addressing significant social issues and obviously child abuse is, is a huge one, trafficking is. I, I have found with different folks and organizations through the years, it's the flavor of the month. And that was sort of driving my impetus to write this song, but also just my experiences of what I've learned in my travels as an advocate, as just a human being. Um, and talking, connecting with other fellow survivors, and just seeing how the world operates as a whole. So without further ado, this is Brush Away Your Tears. Brush away the tears from your eyes, my child. The world will want to see you cry Push away the tears from your eyes, my child The world will want to see you cry And no, it's not right You've got to carry on with your life Please try the world don't understand, sticks its head in the sand and hide. Wish I could take your hand, try to help you understand, my child. You've got to carry on, your story must be told sometime. Wash away the tears of your eyes, my child. The world don't want to see you cry Wash away the tears from your eyes, my child The world don't want to see you cry When you're standing all alone 
Each inside you carry on dear child And the ways to be strong Though they may break you down inside Your spirit is still alive So look around and you'll find a friend who holds your hand will try their best to understand your life. So to then please carry on, find the ways to be strong, my child. Push away the tears from your eyes, my child. The world don't want to see you cry. Push away the tears from your eyes, my child The world don't want to hear you cry Push away your tears Hide all of your fears Hide all of your pain Hide all of your shame The world don't want to know 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 Someday the world will understand and then they'll hold out their hands So then you must be strong And find a way to carry on Push away your tears Push away your tears Push away your tears Push away your tears And that is brush away your tears, folks. Um, there you go. Okay, really nice. That's a great song. Thank you. I'd like to ask a question about one of the phrases in the song, and that is the, the world don't want to know. And I wanted to ask you, based on your travels, has awareness of the problem increased, decreased, or basically stayed the same? Uh, is there any kind of a shift occurring uh, these days, based on your experience? There is more of an awareness. Uh, that is... A definite um so there's there's great organizations agencies people doing incredible things to do that um there's people with podcasts um, webinars uh people writing books so yes there is more awareness so there's the enlightened few but as i'm saying in the song it's still the general public does not want to know. And when we think about the general public, most people one way or another have been impacted by trauma. And for many, they've been impacted by childhood abuse or neglect. And so when I'm singing, the world don't want to know because people are just stuffing it down. They don't want to deal with it because it's, it's so painful. And that is true, but we can work through it. So as a whole, there's more awareness there's more great organizations doing things. Um, uh, I'll just throw one out. Uh, and again, it's not just exclusive because there's a ton of them, but this is one I'm thinking of right, right off the top of my head. It's PACES Connection, all capital letters, P-A-C-E, apostrophe S. Look them up. Um, and they've got all kinds of people posting in their articles, their books, their talks, their research, um, and it, it covers the spectrum of all different folks from all the journalists, scientists, doctors, psychologists, counselors, um, teachers. It runs the gamut. So that would be a good place to start. And then also 
when we're done with this and then you know i'll be sharing other resources that you know for links that people can connect to so yes scott there is more awareness people are doing more things but still the general public as a whole society is still reluctant to really address this as it as it should so we'll make an inroad so um i don't want to be the harbinger of just doom no it's we are making progress but it's it's like that glacier just moving very very slowly uh, are you seeing any corporate uh efforts to do something about the awareness when they step up to the plate is when there is awareness of um okay like that larry nasa who abused all those uh, female athletes uh, when you get the Sin sanduskies and stuff who abused all the other athletes um and other people then organization schools are stepping up but they need to do it for <laughs> For the folks like me, they're just you know normal folks, everyday, you know, working class, middle class stiffs who every day are just trying to get through the day. And I think it's great that we have this awareness. What like when the the, the abuse scandal scandal what a, broke on the Catholic Church and all the cover ups. Um, so there were people stepping up for that. And I really thought that was going to be a watershed moment. I thought, oh, great. Now it's just going to go right across the country and across the world because then they're going to look at the congregational church. They're going to look at the um, synagogues. They're going to look at the um, the Muslim religion, all the different religions. Everybody, every one of them has abusers. Their religions are good. It's They just, the bad people <laughs> go in there because they can, Hurt the sheep, if you will, those that are vulnerable. The Boy Scouts, there's an awareness. So then organizations will step up. But again, it's as I it is being disparaging, but when I call it the flavor of the month, um, then they fall by the wayside again. I think of when I go to see my um medical providers. I mean, the adverse childhood experience study has been out for a long time. And this was conducted by doctors, you know, and it's out there in the, the CDC, Centers for Dis Disease Control and others, utilize this in their help to raise awareness on the impact of what child abuse and neglect does to the human being, society as a whole. But most medical practitioners aren't even aware. Most uh, counselors that are treating folks for their mental health issues are not aware of it. Uh, I mean, something wrong with that picture if i me um living here in you know in new hampshire has become aware of it and others done it they should be aware of it and they shouldn't be reluctant to look at it but uh i've heard the one of the doctors speak several times when he was trying to raise his um his colleagues about this there was pushback and they didn't want to hear it so yes there is forward progress but there's still this resistance and I, as I said earlier, I think it's because people don't want to go to those dark places, but we need to go to those dark places and put the light on it so we can heal. So for the next video recording, we're going to be looking at trauma and its impact. And again, I'm going to open up with one of my songs and it's called Songs for the Keys to Your Life. It's about connections and disconnection, which is a huge piece of trauma and how it impacts us because it disconnects us from ourselves and from others. And what we want to do is make connections to others. And that's what this T-shirt says. So uh, that's what the the next uh, recording will be about. And again, I'll be opening up with a song about that.